Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Hello, Ma. How are you? I am doing good. Wonderful. Are you ready for the dating show? Yes, I sure am. What's your name and how old are you and where you are located? My name is Melinda Roberts and I am, I call myself my boo and I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina and I am 44 years old. All righty. What do you do for a living, darling? Well, I work for American Airlines, but right now I'm waiting on a heart transplant. Okay. All right. Well, you seem in great spirits, so oh, I'm not going to even be sad about it. Yes. You no, seem confident. Right. You seem okay. Things are going good. Yes. Everything is going great. I just, uh, in October, they told me my heart was at 25%. So I'm just at home on bed rest, you know, but I am, I get up every day and do my makeup and, and this, you know, interact and talk and not down spirits and everything. And I know God will work everything out in due season, due time. And you know what? Why did I even say, oh, because you up here looking for a man, okay? So ain't nothing wrong. Things are good, okay. <laughs> Do you have any children? Yes, my, I have a child that's 18 and 22, and one's in college and one's on her own, lives on her own. Okay, would you date a man with children? Yes, but they have to be, you know, grown. Okay, describe your dream man. Do not describe his looks. My dream man would be honest and uh, that loves God and a uh, God fearing man and uh, a man that takes charge. And I don't, I don't like a jelly back man. I want somebody that takes charge and, and ready to travel the world because I have frequent flyer miles and I, I since I get, you know, God bless me with this new heart. I'm ready to travel the whole world. Absolutely. We want to know what is a jelly back. Everyone is like a jelly back. A jelly, my, my pastor states a jelly back man is a man that's don't always, uh, asking what you want. I mean, uh, what, what do you want for a dinner? Uh, have you paid the bill instead of going and do it in himself and taking charge a man that does not know how to take charge. Um, what does he have to look like? Uh, you know, he don't have to be the, the, the baddest thing in the building, but I want him to be, you know, uh, well-groomed and keep himself up and get a haircut and go get his feet done and everything else. Be like a well-groomed man. And how much money does he have to make per year? Well, right now I make $89,000 per year and it got to be between. Okay. 50 to 89. Give me three deal breakers. A deal breaker is um, dirt in their toenails and their teeth is not done. So I, I don't mind the gap because I got braces on. I don't mind a gap and I don't mind, you know, but I don't, I want your teeth to be white and I want them no, um, no yellow uh, things on your teeth. And a deal breaker also is uh, don't show your underwear. My boo, that was so specific, especially the toenail dirt. That was very specific. Toenail and fingernail dirt. I do not want no toenail or fingernail dirt at all. A groomed man, someone who keeps himself safe. You know what? If you're an Aquarius, okay, specifically Aquarius or well groomed, Aquarius men. Go titties, and I want somebody who who knows how to come in and just lift them on up. Uh oh, my boo, you getting fresh? You getting fresh? I don't think the pastor would like that now. <laughs> the, I'm a sanctifying. Um, <laughs> you know what, my boo? Before we move on to the next question, can we do the fit check? We need to see your outfit head to toe. We've been asking everyone on the live to do this. Can you do that? Okay, hold on. Let me see. I, um, okay. I just got on a, a regular uh, dress because, you know, I don't go anywhere. So okay. I just she got, got on a moo -moo. Okay, she no, said no, she got no, on a, a regular blue jean dress. All righty. Okay, we see you, my boo. Give us one or two reasons why you think you're single. Uh, right now, I have been raising my kids and and, and everything in them, but my kids are out uh, in college. My, my my youngest is in college. My other daughter is out on her own, and I is no one here to talk to no more. So I think I'm getting back in the dating pool. And plus, I had two girls, and I didn't want any man coming in here raping my two girls. So it's now it's time to uh, 
you know, it's time to get back in the, the, the dating field and, and everything because my kids are grown and this house is quiet and I want companionship and I feel like love can is out there for me. Absolutely. And do you get out? I feel like you have a great personality. Do you get out a lot? Do you go to restaurants? Do you go to events? Yes, I just, I just, my sister just dropped me back off. The doctor don't want me to drive anymore until I get the heart transplant, but my sister just dropped me back. We just left Ruth Chris. Go ahead. I do have two cars in the garage. Oh, two, not just one. Would you relocate for love? I can because American Airlines is um, all over the United States, so I can relocate. Okay, and where can this man find you on social media? What is your username? My username is my boo. It's my boo on all platforms. Um, uh, uh, my boo 21 on uh, TikTok, my boo 21 on Instagram, and my boo on Facebook. M-A-B-O-O-H, the number 21. Yes. All right, Miss Mabu, thank you for coming up. I love your energy. I think the chat enjoyed you and keep me updated, okay? Okay, thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. You too, bye, -bye. bye darling. Oh, don't we love Miss Mabu? Don't we love her energy? Oh, <laughs> sending her lots of love. You know, dirt under the toenails, no yellow teeth. No bad breath. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Does she have... Hi, Savannah. We can't hear you, beauty. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Hi. Right. Hello. I Are you haven't ready, been though? trying to go live with you forever. Oh, okay. Say again? I said welcome. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, girlfriend. You know your name is Savannah. How old are you and where are you located? I am 27 and I'm located in North Carolina. What do you do for a living? Right now I am active duty military. I have been in for eight years and I am getting out in September. Do you have any children? You. I How two many? Boys. Two boys. But I was married. I was married before I had kids, so I did not have kids out of wedlock. May we ask how old are your children? They are six and four. Six and four. May we ask why you why the relationship with the four year old dad didn't work out? Um, mm -hmm. Well, they both have the same dad. the The reason why me and their dad didn't work out is I joined the military when I was eighteen, and I know it's like a bit of TMI, but went to Korea. It was like my first time. He was the first man I was ever with, and we just like moved so fast he just wasn't willing to grow with me so that's why we kind of when our separates i tried counseling like marriage counseling and he wasn't really like taking me serious until i was like completely checked out right so you feel like you guys outgrew each other ultimately yeah and it was just, he wasn't giving as much as i was giving and he wasn't willing to until he seen like oh my god like she's really done let me let me try to save this Okay, and you don't feel like it was worth saving, I guess? Did you want to fight for it, or were you kind of checked out by that point? At first, I did want to save it. I had tried everything. It was like our parents were involved. You know, I was, it was after the birth of our second son, and I just like went through postpartum really badly, and he just was not active or present. It was like I was going through everything on my own, and we were living in the same roof. I was completely broken, and it's just like I couldn't look at him the same. All he could have done, it was just like come up to me and just give me a hug. Hey, are you okay today? And it just wasn't any of that. And it's, I gave, I gave you life. I gave you children. I changed my body for you. And you just couldn't even ask me, like, I know you're not okay, but I'm here for you. You know? Can you describe your dream man? Don't describe his looks. So I definitely would want to be with someone who's funny, who's ambitious like me, and who has a family dynamic. Comes from a family household or a background of being involved with family. That's, that's literally it. I just need somebody who's just willing to put forth the effort as I would put forth the effort. Okay, okay. and let me say this before we continue moving forward. Um, if there is anyone interested in Savannah and would like to talk to her, feel free to request to join the live. What does he have to look like? Honestly, I think I have like, my frontal lobe has developed a little bit. So <laughs> I don't think that before my type was, uh, I would prefer a black man. 
I will say that um, I'm a black woman. I just want to relate and we're going to have black kids. So I just think it makes it easier. I'm not saying that it's a definite, but I don't really look at looks like that. I would prefer someone taller than me and someone who's definitely in tune with their fitness and their spirituality. How much money does he have to make a year? Um, I would say at least 80,000 above. I'm kind of young. I can't expect him to just, you know what I mean? Be there and I'm not there. Even though I know I don't have to be, but <laughs> I'm willing to build on that. Okay, so at least 80,000. <laughs> we do have a guy who's interested in a chat. I'll bring him up once we, I guess, get through the questions, okay? If you're comfortable with me bringing him up. <laughs> Alrighty, can you give me three deal breakers? Three deal breakers. Uncleanliness, infidelity, and a liar. I cannot, I respect men so much more. It, that's like the biggest one, a liar. No matter what you've done, I will respect you so much more as a man to tell me the truth than me to feel it in my intuition first, drive myself crazy second, and then have to get it out of you for the third. When you are with this man, are you open to 50-50 or should he fully provide? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I am open to 50-50, but, but I would prefer a man who, I'm okay with doing the little things, like the groceries, the things for the house, and if my man needs my help, trust and believe I'm willing to do that. But a man who just like, I have to slide my card under the table or like secretly send cash apps and stuff too, and just, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go through that again. I've done that, done, been there, done that. I don't want to do that anymore. But if we're like actively together and we're both putting in the effort, I don't mind going 50-50. And just to, you know, pick up from what you just said, you said you felt like at a point in your life you had to, you know, maybe slide the card under the table or send a cash app at the restaurant so this person looked like the guy. Okay, all right. Can you give us one reason why you think you're single? One reason why I think I'm single is I let my emotions get the best of me. That is my red flag. I have, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting more in tune with myself and how to control my emotions when something makes me upset. I, I definitely am an emotional being. So maybe learning to control your emotions is something you will want to work on. All right, okay. Booney, I'm going to bring you up in a second. Can we do a fit check? We want to see you head to toe. I asked Big God. <laughs> the I didn't think you were going to put me on so fast. You see, I had to take the bonnet off. I got PJs on. My room is a wreck. Wait, what do you have? Oh, you have on shorts. Okay, yeah, you have on shorts. Okay, all right. Because she thick. The, 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 the. Oh, hey, hey, oh, okay. Don't be showing the yams now, okay? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Would you relocate for love? Of course. Okay, all right. So we're going to bring up this person. Again, no pressure for you both. And y'all can just see how the vibe goes. Okay, Booney. Hello, Booney. I'm going to just turn on my camera. Hi, Booney. Is is that how we pronounce your name, Booney? Yeah, it's Bonnie. Bonnie. But, okay. But actually, but actually, my full name is Boniface. Okay. Hi, but, Bonnie. Uh, I guess I just reduced you to uh, Bonnie. Where are you from, and how old are you? And what made you come up? What attracted you to her? Mm, I'm thirty-seven, and I was born in Uganda. That and. Uh, I live in Germany, like half of my life in Germany. Okay, and what made what is what made you come up for Savannah? What was it about her? Uh, there's something about Savannah that connects me to her, and I, I feel like I just feel like the same way like her. Like for example, when she talked about her red flag, she said that the, her red flag is that she's a very open person. That is something about me. I'm, I'm very open with, uh, uh, I'm very open with how I feel. And uh, yeah, I also have, I have a daughter, I have a daughter. She's, 
she's half German, she's half me. And uh, man, Savannah is just looking, she's looking great. She's looking like my real type, you know? I'm flattered. All right. Yeah. So I couldn't, I couldn't hold back, you know? <laughs> okay. Savannah, do you have any thoughts at all? Um, so you said that your daughter is German. Okay. It's, I, uh, I like, I like African country, men. It's, I'm not going to lie. I do like African men. It's the country next to Kenya. Then. Okay. Okay. Um, personally, I, I don't know. This is different. This is different. I mean, if anything, if you guys want to follow each other and if it's a match, you guys can talk there. We yeah. could just leave it here. But we can end it here and you guys could decide if you want to connect um, offline, if there is some type of connection, okay? Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, for me, I, I got no problem. I think Savannah, Savannah has to make a decision, you know? But yeah. for me, I, I, already, I already have the decision that I have in mind. Yeah, I would like to get to know her. I'm up for it. We, we see how it goes from there. All righty. Okay. Well, Bonnie, you can definitely follow her, and I'm sure she's followed you already. And then you guys can DM did, each other. Did, if did there she is... follow me? Did she follow me? Can I check? Um, yeah, you can check once you get off the live, my love. Okay. So you okay. guys have a beautiful night. Thank you for coming up, Bonnie. Savannah, thank you for coming up. Where can the man find you on social media? Please give us your handle. Don't judge me based off of my Instagram, okay? I'm a great person. So my, uh, it's the same as my TikTok. It's Savannah Spencer underscore on all my social media platforms. Thank you for coming up, beautiful. <laughs> Bye, girlfriend. Bye, Bye-bye. Are you looking for love? I am. I am. That name pulled me up. I saw sex. Sexology. <laughs> oh. I mm -hmm. am a certified sexologist and intimacy sex coach. That's something I do. I teach classes. I coach men and women and couples. Um, I host parties. I host dinners. Why is it a struggle to find love? <laughs> For me personally, I'm someone who has found my peace. And if you're not adding to it, I'm quick to go quicker for the one that's not for me to go than hold a seat for the one that is. And also, I don't settle. I know what I want. I've seen the love that I want. I've witnessed it. I'm divorced. I was married before. I have two children. Getting out there and giving it a shot, it changes every day. I also believe you are who you attract. So I attempt and try to manifest my love and all the things. So I said, I'm going to give this a shot and see, you know, this is a broader reach. Um, and just getting out there. Okay, so we know your name is Lex. How old are you and where are you located? I'm 30 and I'm in Florida. What do you do for a living? So I shared that I was a coach. That's my bit, my oh. personal business. Um, but that, also right? in the day, I'm also an IT professional. You do have children, you said. Mm -hmm. Would you date a man <laughs> with children? Yes, I prefer to date men with children. Um, but I will put a disclaimer out there that I'm not with the child support baby mama drama. I don't come with that. Me and my ex-husband, we co-parent very well. We have healthy living situations. We don't do the child support. You pay for this, pay for that. It's whatever our kids need. So like I said, I welcome the peace because I give it and I demand it. Describe your dream man. Don't describe his love. What? I've been watching a live and I wrote all my stuff down because <laughs> I said I wanted to be ready. So I am, my dream man is that masculine alpha, well-spoken, educated, whether it's life experiences or scholarly, open-minded to different life experiences, makes at least 130K, brings his own peace, takes accountability, is authentic, can read the room, has a sense of humor, takes the initiative, um, open to growing and changing together. Okay. And what does he have to look like? Look like good hygiene is a first. Um, athletic is a plus. However, I'm I'm open to the active man with the dad bod, not the big gut. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, clean cut. Um, dress as well. Um, it's, I'm open to overhauling the closet if I have to. <laughs> um, preferably, I like to date older men, so I date men that are typically 37 to 43.
how much money does he have to make per year? I'm just asking a question, although you mm -hmm. did say it. Mm -hmm. At least 130. Um, because I come with I have you know my stuff together. I expect you to be able to hold your own and do your thing. Okay, give me three deal breakers. So I have four, if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, low income is number one. Um, not family oriented. I like someone that is that loves to go to family events, love to hang out with friends, double date, travel. Um, mm -hmm. So not family oriented. I'm against smokers. However, I have visited recently a cigar lounge. I did meet a guy or two over there. And that's not a deal breaker for me as far as cigars. Mm -hmm. Everything else is a no go mm -hmm. for me. Um, and then someone who's not at peace. All right, there is a guy in the chat who's interested. He did request. I'm not saying it has to be a match, but should I, can I pull him out? Happens. <laughs> I'm open to it, but I will, listen, I'm, before you jump up, I said that masculine alpha, I will tell you, oh, sorry, it's a no for me. It's okay. Your girl is Absolutely. out there. I will let you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Before I bring him up, can you give me one reason why you think you're single? Because I refuse to settle. I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. Um, the things that I listed that I shared, those are all like, I'm looking for all of that. And off of confidence, like I said, that masculine alpha has confidence. He demands a room without speaking. So that type of guy. He's like, she is for me. <laughs> he's he's going crazy in the comments. Let's get him up here. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, hello, how are you? We can't see you there. Betsy said she wants a clean coat and I don't have a clean coat actually. Um, but she, I, refer her to, I refer her as the most beautiful girl I have ever seen in my entire life. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, you How will find you? her, I promise you. It may not be me, but I promise you will find her. Well, then I have to drop. If I mean, if I'm not for you, then I have no time to be here. And I was right. here for you. It's okay. Moving right along, would you relocate for love? Currently. No, not not currently. Um, Florida is as far as I'll go. My kids are young right now. Um, and like I said, we have that 50-50 right now. It's working beautifully. Um, but if the right man came along and he had all, if he matched everything on this list, we could work something out. And where can this man find you on social media? What is your handle? He can reach me at T-O-K-S-E-X underscore with Lex. It's talk sex with Lex without the A. That is my business one. He can reach out there as long as he come correct. Um, and then we can switch over to my personal if he makes it because I have my personal life and all of my things there. But I want to ask you, Lex, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe you should create a third account where it doesn't have all your personal information, but it doesn't have talk sex with Lex because that could kind of get a man's mind going like, oh, she's talking about SAG, like, oh, she's, da, 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 da. you know, like that can. And for me, it's easy to weed that out because the man is not, he's gonna be like, okay, I'm curious. Can you educate me on more of what you do? Going to my page, you'll see I'm not just talking about the vulgar, it's education. Um, and I'm very careful about the type of content I put out. And it's really women focused. It's not okay. appealing to men at all. Of course, I'm beautiful. I know that, you know, I look good, but I have met a guy, one guy I met on TikTok. He was really cool. We actually went out on a date, um, but he wasn't open to because my kids were younger. So that was one of the deal breakers for him um, starting over because his kids were older and out of the house. Mm, okay. What about on TikTok? Lexa Sexologist. That's the title that I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. So that is the name. It's all mm -hmm. everywhere. It's Talk sex with Lex without the A, and then it's talk, talk sex without the A, underscore with Lex. All right, Lex. Well, come back. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if um, I you guys will. Know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Up, darling. I hope you enjoyed the dating. I think it went well. I told her just to take out the seg part, because you know, if a man doesn't know you, you can be a very classy, educated, beautiful woman, great head on your shoulders. But then, oh, it's plain. If you see that, like, 
um, you know, said thing, that could be a thing. Like, um, a man's mind goes there, you know? Not saying you're a promiscuous person or you're scandalous or anything like that. A man's mind can definitely go there, you know?